Thank you. Well, we have a GMAS legend <laughs> with us today. Lena and I both grew up here in the Valley watching you, Dan. So, you know, we had to get our selfie. You can watch for that soon. We try not to geek out, but it is no, nice to you see guys, you. You guys are very kind. And we look like we're going to two different cocktail parties. I got my shorts on. You're so dressed well, all nice. You know, they make me. Do they? <laughs> Next time I'm wearing my pajamas. All so righty. when it's hot here, you know, we're all looking for ways to cool off. And this weekend you can check out taking a trip to Alaska on AAA High Roads with Dan Davis. So Dan, you did something different this time around. Yeah, well, you did. You know, I've been lucky enough to do several Alaska cruises, yeah. but I've always started at the boat and got off the boat. Well, thanks to the folks at Celebrity Cruise Lines, they wanted to really emphasize the point. If you're going to go to Alaska, take the time to do both the land and the sea cruise, because otherwise you're doing about half the trip. And having done it, right. I can tell you that is exactly the case. Okay, so talk to me about, we're starting in Fairbanks, right? Yeah, well, first day we fly into Fairbanks and what an interesting place. Uh, Fairbanks is only about 100 miles from the Arctic Circle. Oh my. So you have really traveled north, but we got there in some of the most unbelievable temperatures you've ever seen. It was 72, people were out kayaking. This looked like a place you could live forever. However, yeah. as nice as it is <laughs> in late May, early June, it can hit 40 oh. or 50 below zero. Is that what you're showing us here? Exactly. This is out at the steamboat landing where we did a river trip and they actually have a deep freeze at 40 below. So you can go in there and stand there and just feel how miserable it is. And then you oh. wonder how in the world would you ever live here how in the winter? But yeah. as a summer vacation, absolutely fabulous. And this steam wheeler, and it really does, it really is a paddle boat was unbelievable and the way they had this set up so you get to see Alaska things like float planes which are almost as common as cars oh, wow. and the whole time you're just cruising around on this great boat we oh. uh, made a stop at uh, one of the sled dog kennels there's a veteran of the uh, Iditarod and some of the other things and I say this was almost like going through it's a small world where you pass everything yeah. except for it's real here and it's full speed and man I'll tell you what you have never seen dogs with spirit like these. So <laughs> Fairbanks is a great place do. to visit, but do it in the summer. Okay, Denali National Park. Oh my gosh, high point of North America, of course, also uh. known as Mount McKinley. You know what, you have to be extremely lucky when you go to Denali because that is one of the, the world's center of bad weather. But oh. man, once again, it, the skies opened up and it was springtime and here are some grizzlies who have just recently woken up and they're right along the side of the road. It's a mom and a couple of cubs eating uh, a potato root plant what? and those uh, those are the mountains of the Alaska range and someplace out there in the clouds is Denali oh, wow. but what a great trip and how fun it is to come from Phoenix yeah. and be playing in the snow how cold was after, it um, right there temperature wasn't too bad it was probably in the yeah. 40s but uh, the snow makes for such a great background and of yeah. course even though I travel with a photographer still got to have those selfies oh always they're they're mandatory <laughs> they are. where are we going next uh, I think we head down to Anchorage. Okay. That was our next stop after Denali. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I won't say for sure if we saw the mountain or not, but I was not disappointed. So we go down to Anchorage mm -hmm. and then we work our way on down towards Seward. This is the Kenai Fjords and this is actually where the cruise ship goes. Oh. But what a magnificent day trip this is. First, those are stellar uh, seals out there. Oh, wow. Now, usually they're nocturnal and they don't move mm -hmm. around at night, but um, they were out there kind of playing around. But the big thing was, the orcas, mm -hmm. the killer whales, and they are so mm -hmm. magnificent and they were everywhere. And so this was a day we spent out there watching these wonderful animals just enjoy themselves. And then we got to oh, watch this. this. I was just standing there and here comes this guy right by the boat. Amazing. So what a great trip. And then there's yeah. a glacier out there. And I'll tell you what, it was the complete trip with more to go. So you were there for two weeks, right, on this cruise? Yeah, we were, we were uh, on the land tour about five or six days, and then we hit the sea tour. And I think we're seeing some video here of our stop in Juneau, oh, wow. which is the state capital, mm -hmm. as Juneau. Very yes, old I, joke. Duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Yes, Juneau. Uh, uh -huh. So it's a great place to visit, but we took this float plane trip out over five glaciers and eventually ended up at a old salmon cabin that oh, they turned goodness. into uh, a, a public uh, place to go and enjoy salmon and see a little bit more of Alaska. And mm -hmm. I mean, this is consummate Alaska. Going out on a float plane, landing on the water next to a glacier, walking in, and guess who's there? Who? Lois. 
Is that Lois? <laughs> That's Lois. Hi, Lois. Three-year-old bear who just kind of hangs out there. They do keep an eye on her. And then they cook this fresh salmon. Mm. And I'll tell you what, it just doesn't get better. That It's a beautiful lodge, and you really get a feel for yeah. what Alaska was before it was a state. So we're going to be able to watch all this tonight. Tonight at 8 o'clock, then the sea portion is a week from tonight. Okay, we'll be watching. We always Thank do. you. Dan, it's so great to oh see you. Oh, my gosh, thanks Thank for you. the compliments. GMAS legend.